I tried to film this video like 600 times. I'm gonna even dabble in wigs. I cannot wait to slay. Uh, wait to slay. Mm. <laughs> Be looking like a whole baddie with a nice wig. Pardon me if I look crusty and exhausted. That's because I am. Welcome back to my channel, guys. My name is Didi. For those of you who are new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you know whenever I post a video. Now, today's video has been long overdue. I made a video randomly like about a month ago saying I was going to comb out my locks. And then I popped up on Instagram with braids. <laughs> And y'all were like, what? If you don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and head over and hit that follow button on Instagram because literally I post everything there. Like, you'll find out about everything on Instagram before you ever will on YouTube. So I basically just wanted to update you guys on how I combed out my locks. It took me about five or six days to comb out my locks. I had about 125 locks. What I basically did is I looked at my lock and then I tried to figure out like where my own lock stopped and where the lock extension started. But then I realized that where my own locks were was actually pretty long. I don't have time to be combing out a lock from here. Like all the way to the tip, hell no. Nah. I decided to just go ahead and start snip, 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 snipping. <laughs> Snip, 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 snip. Like, I didn't give a f Excuse my language. I really didn't care. I was tired. I was over it. I was on a diet. Speaking of diets, do I look skinny, y'all? I've been trying. We'll talk about that, too, in another video. Yeah, I was supposed to update you guys about my weight loss. I ain't shit, y'all. Life gets busy, and I just forget to do things, like, completely. Back to this video. And then I started, like, basically just dipping my hair. So I would get, like, a water bottle. Do I have a water bottle? Whatever, I think I can insert a clip. I would get like a water bottle, take the hair, and it would be warm water in a water bottle, like an empty water bottle, and then dip my lock entirely into the water, and I would let it sit in the water for like maybe like a minute or a couple of seconds, and then after dipping my hair into the water, water I would take some conditioner. I use Aussie Moist Conditioner, take some of that, and then I would just coat my entire lock with it, make sure I squeezed it to get it to penetrate and soften, and then I would just get to combing. And then I would make sure there would be a towel in front of me, some type of rag like that I didn't need so I could wipe my hands with all the nasty conditioner. And then, yeah, a show, some snacks, and then I would get to combing. It took me forever. Y'all, I felt like I was like going to work. I would like wake up at like 7 or 8 a.m. And then I wouldn't stop combing out my hair till like midnight or 1 or 2 a.m. And I would repeat the same cycle over and over again till I combed out my hair. It got to a point my fingers started like pruning and getting like, you know, I was stabbing myself with the metal rat tooth comb and slicing up my fingertips, y'all. It was painful. Like, you can never convince me to comb out locks again. Never. Don't ask me. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No, thank you. Is it creepy that I have a bag of my locks? Ew. <laughs> Y'all help me, send help. The last time I cut my lock extensions off, like from my very first set, I didn't keep my locks. And that was the dumbest thing ever because I then wanted lock extensions again and I had to go get them all over again. Here are my, lo Ooh, here are my logs in a bag. Eek, like made a mess, but here they are. I decided to keep them. My hair had so much nasty ass lint in it, it's disgusting. Like, yeah, it's gross. It has, um, and I even threw a majority of my loose hairs away because I didn't want to be that creepy person. But now that I showed you guys, I can get rid of this mess. My hair had grown a lot. Y'all, I have bra strap length. But then when you're combing out your locks, you're basically damaging the hair as you're going off the shaft because you're being very rough to try and unravel those locks. And if your hair is anything like mine, it was tightly, like, locked. Like, it was locked, firm, like a rock. There was no combing it out. I had to get my mom, my sister, my niece, my ne everybody. Everybody helped me comb out my locks. <laughs> Whoa, okay, let, let me, me get a good angle. Girl! <laughs>
She wants to be into me. 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 She wants to be you're working too? Yeah, this one is hard work. No easy. <laughs> Twist the hair for five years. Yes. No, three. <laughs> Only three years. Like three a years. Day. Three years. I don't believe you. That's hard work. In. My goodness. <laughs> the hair. Twist. I can't. Tingle, tingle. You make tingle, 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 tingle. I needed God's strength. It took a lot of determination and strength to be able to comb these locks out. It was a whole, a whole journey and I would never do it again. Watching my scalp, washing my scalp specifically after taking out my locks was like the best feeling ever. And then being able to just run my fingers through my hair as I was deep conditioning and detangling my hair, I had missed that. I felt like I returned to a version of myself that I forgot about, you know, without my locks. So, yeah, I didn't cry. I wasn't like sad. Sometimes I miss the ease of my locks here and there. Hence why I have braids in my hair because I just could not, for the first month, I could not be bothered with my hair. And it's summertime. I'm not about to be messing with my head. So, yeah, I got braids afterwards, like a week afterwards. I rocked my own natural hair. So, I basically, after doing, after taking out my locks, I deep conditioned it, gave it a little protein treatment, and then I washed and deep conditioned again, and then I blew it out, and then I trimmed a little bit of the ends. Like, I didn't go crazy, because I want to retain some of my length, even though it's damaged. I know it's damaged, but I want my hair to grow out a little bit more before I fully trim my, my hair and give myself this whole big chop all over again. I just wanted to keep some of my length, but... Yeah, the goal is to take care of my hair as much as possible and just to have it like grow as much as possible and flourish. But yeah, y'all, I'm just going to insert some clips randomly and let you guys enjoy me combing out my locks. So if you have any questions for me, please go ahead and leave them below. Let me know and I will get back to you guys. And if you want me to make another video about combing out my locks, I can. But I think I pretty much covered everything in this video and in the last video. So... Yeah, thank you guys so much. I hope you stay with me for my natural hair journey going forward. I'll be posting a lot of videos on the different styles that I do. I'm going to even dabble in wigs. I cannot wait to slay. Uh, wait to slay. Mm. <laughs> be looking like a whole baddie with a nice wig, you know? Just can't wait for that and just protect the style and try a bunch of different things that I felt like I was missing out on. But yeah, thank you guys so much for sitting through this video. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, share this video, thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! That's the way it goes. Almost as it